Many people believe that making tough decisions is at the heart of leadership. Yet experienced leaders will tell you that deciding how to make decisions is just as important. Let's take a look at normative decision theory. The normative decision theory helps leaders decide how much employee participation should be used when making decisions. Unlike nearly all of the other leadership theories, which have specified leadership styles, that is, the way a leader generally behaves towards followers, the normative decision theory specifies five different decision styles. As shown here, those styles vary from autocratic decisions on the left, in which leaders make decisions by themselves, to consultative decisions in the middle, in which leaders share problems with subordinates but still make the decisions themselves, to group decisions on the right, in which leaders share the problems with subordinates and then have the group make the decision. Leaders are responsible for improving the performance of organizations. Two significant components of a leader's decisions are the quality of the decision and the level of buy-in associated with it. Effective leaders want them both. According to the normative decision theory, using the right degree of employee participation improves the quality of decisions and the extent to which employees accept and are committed to the decisions, that is, buy-in. The quality, leader information, subordinate information, goal congruence, and problem structure rules are used to increase decision quality.